channel today we'll be talking about kidney stones how to remove kidney stones right how you know that you have kidney stones and when you don't remove your kidney stones what happens to it what what are these the, what will happen to your health when kidney stones taste for long in your system and also the kind of kidney stones that can be urinated and the ones that require a surgery or um, or the ones that require an assistance and the kind of the ones that cannot be urinated what will actually be done um, so that you can pass them out okay so basically this video I'm just going to be telling you about how to remove or get rid of your kidney stones okay so listen attentively and um, um, let me know if you have questions if you also require a doctor or a referral because I'm a renowned nurse so I know people that are doctors that are competent with removing kidney failure if this natural remedy doesn't work for you and depending on the diameter of the kidney stones that you have and also going to be talking about how to prevent kidney stones from reoccurring okay so one thing you should know that if you've had kidney stones before the possibility of there's a high chance or possibility of it from um happening again so in this course of this video that's why you shouldn't skip at any point you will find out why it will cause and what you will do okay so let's get to it first of all kidney stones are crystals that are formed in the kidneys okay they are um, like a solid crystals that are formed in the kidneys right so um how i've already made a video on the causes of kidney stones so there's no need you can just go and watch it there if you don't know the causes of kidney stones and how to prevent kidney stones now the second thing is how you know or the signs of kidney stones now um severe pain at your back at your groin okay having um difficulties in urinating finding it difficult to urinate and severe um you know pains okay fever painful urination blood urination however these are just suggestive signs to have a very proper diagnosis when you're noticing all of this you just need to go and see a doctor so investigation will be done scan and investigations will be done um to find out what is wrong with you if it is kidney stones and the kind of stones you um the number of stones you have and how to get rid of this um how many they are and which part of the kidneys that they are and then from there we know what to do now these are the signs of kidney stones okay so now let's get to what when you don't remove your kidney stones what's going to happen so if you have kidney stones and um, it stays in your system for a very long time and um, it has not been removed okay this is what is going to happen over a long period of time now if there is stasis of urine urine doesn't come out okay you're trying to urinate it doesn't come out and this leads to stasis of urine that's urine um you know um going back and um staying in your urinary bladder and sometimes it travels back to the kidney because it's not coming out and the bladder is irritated so most of the times the urine goes back to the kidneys okay or it stays along that tract what happens now is there's there will be a transfer of infection or probably when you urinate you don't urinate um all of the urine like let's say you had about you have about um 15 meals of urine and you end up urinating maybe 10 meals 15 meals the remaining are still always still in the bladder okay what it does is it causes it uh, it makes infection to travel through the urinary tract and it goes to the kidney and cause infection or when there is stasis of urine like i said because the bladder is full it doesn't come out because of the blockage it goes try to go back again to the kidney and you know the urine has a lot of microorganisms in them bacteria in them these are things that the kidney has filtered out that is not needed in the system right so it goes back to the kidneys and cause infection for the kidneys and this is where the, your this is where the whole problem begins and when the kidneys are infected nothing is done okay urine are still you know going back and forth going back and forth this will cause this can damage the kidneys the person if nothing is done can find him or herself in chronic kidney failure so you see when you have kidney stones after doing these natural things i'm saying and it doesn't work for like you know it doesn't work and your doctor has instructed that 
there needs to be a surgery to remove them out especially when it is preventing you from urinating i urge you to go and listen to your doctor don't waste so much time okay but however i will tell you the natural ways you can get rid of your kidney stones but it now depends on the diameter that there are diameters that you can urinate out which i also mentioned on in this video okay so please listen attentively how to remove um kidney stone these tips will help you either eliminate them out or get them off your system okay so number one is if you've been diagnosed of kidney stones okay first of all meet your health um meet your doctor okay let them know the amount of kidney stone the size of the kidney stones you have now there are some kidney stones that cannot be urinated i am so sorry okay they have to be you know um broken into smaller pieces then you can now urinate them out because if you try even if i tell you these things i'm going to tell you and you try to um they find their way off from your kidneys you know to, to the process of getting out of your system to the ureter and ureters you know it can cause severe damage for you because the stones might block and then you start urinating blood and a lot of things happens okay so if you're you need to um know the centimeters of kidney stones with your doctor and if it is safe for you to you know try to urinate them out with these um things i'm going to to be telling you now i think um kidney stones that are more than two to three millimeters can can and should shouldn't be urinated out okay they have a way that the doctors will try to break them into smaller particles and then um, urinate them out now very important please if you urinate if you urinated your kidney stones before very very important try to um, take it to your doctor so that they will run a urology um, a histology pathology test on it to find out the kind of stone it is and what caused it so that it doesn't reoccur now this is why people have keep having reoccurring kidney stones okay so this is very important and then when you're diagnosed of kidney stones try to find out if possible the kind of kidney stones you have so that when you are actually free from that kidney stones you know how to manage yourself and prevent this now there are some kidney stones that are caused by steady infection urinary tract infection yes there are some kidney stones that are caused by uric acid okay yes there are some kidney stones that are caused by calcium which is the most common so try to find out the kind of kidney stones you have this will help you prevent and manage them better now let's get to what to do so that you can either urinate your kidney stones out number one please make sure you add lemon lemon is very good in helping to dissolve these kidney stones and stop from more formation of uric you know formation of kidney stones how do you add lemon now put your le put lemon in one lemon in the morning and in the evening in a glass of water take them right this will really really help you a lot now number two is this have you heard about apple cider vinegar <laughs> what? yeah apple cider vinegar very very good in helping with people that has kidney stones now put like a um a spoon or the cup the cup of the apple cider cider vinegar in your water you can take like if you're taking um like four cans of water in a day you can put in two finish the two and then drink the other one do this morning and evening excuse me this will really help you right now you will even notice that your pains will reduce now very important now um please if you're also having kidney stones stop red meat stop um high protein stop things like um crabs you know sea salts seafoods okay stop it okay please stop it this also you know has the end product of uric acid and you know it's also going to cause more stones for you remember we're trying to make your urine as alkaline as possible too so that more stones will not form and you can urinate your stones out right now very important one is drink a lot of water up to five liters of water in a day drink lots of water this will really help in fact it's one of the most potent way in urinating your stones out okay no matter the diameter but at least uh, i've told you to let your doctor no okay so drink when you're having stones you have to drink a lot of water you, your name is water just drink water this will really help you 
okay now very important stop caffeine if you're taking caffeine these things make your urine more concentrated stop um cola products um beverages take only water this will really really help you fried foods stop them for until you urinate your your stones out now um if your i've already said it if your stones are too large to be urinated there's a procedure that will be done and the stones will be broken into smaller pieces okay for you and so that you can urinate them out and make sure you take your stones to your doctor for pathology tests too so that you can prevent them from reoccurring again now very important one, reduce salt or if possible reduce the salt to the barest minimum Remember, salt causes kidney stones too. So reduce top salt, reduce sugar, fructose. These are, they are not good for you, okay? So, so far, so good. Caffeine, um, energy drinks is a no, no, no. Everything about you should be water. Now, let me know if you have more questions and um, I will help you out. If you want, if you're looking for a place to do your kidney stone surgery, I can give you that and I will also follow you up. Thank you and follow for more. Share this video. This will help a lot of people.